tell y'all welcome in crochet life and stuff with Deborah with sort of a haul com a combined haul video how about we call that the combined haul because this is a little of this a little of that a little of those from everywhere including a little bit of yarn which I will show you a little later on so you know there is yarn involved in this on this crochet channel but there's also the life and stuff and some of it is like from last week or the week before I didn't do any kind of a haul video even though I did shop because hello shopping is sort of retail therapy for me especially when it's at the dollar stores <laughs> anyhow let's just dump into it I've got a bag here and even this bag is not all from the place it says it is uh, this is Dollar Tree now you know that I've kind of had a peeps obsession lately because they also go on sale yeah this is party cake peeps I'll be trying those at some point I think this week uh, a battery for I think a car remote but yeah Dollar Tree you know when it's not life critical type stuff dude get it from the Dollar Tree when it's something like that I did get some more planter pots the there are four of these here of course at the dollar 25 tree they're about 25 each but they will do uh, the job and they're just simple plain and they can sit outside without much problem at all let's set that in there uh, and then, <laughs> then uh, there's the chocolate. Some of these chocolates are already gone because there were multiples of some of them, but they have been consumed by people in this household. I'm a people in this household, but it wasn't all me, okay? There's the, the s'mores bunny. Oh, and these were half price by the time we got them. So s'mores bunny, okay? Uh, there, these have not been touched yet. Okay, there's two of the milk chocolate bunnies there's the other one. Oh, there is another s'mores bunny hello a little crispy I know there was another little crispy and that guy is gone and there were also two more that had the crispy bits in it that are gone but these have been around for I think a couple of weeks so you know it's not like we just sat around and ate chocolate all day although wouldn't that be fun mmm chocolate okay I'm moving on. Another bag, another little bit of crinkly bits. Sorry. Speaking of bags, I got a bunch of bags. Um, these little guys are exceptionally handy. They're clear, see-through. They have a pocket on the outside plus the zipper pouch portion and cute little handles. I got another couple of those. I kind of gather these and collect them because not only do I use them, I usually stick them in giveaways um, along with something else because there will be giveaways coming up on my birthday week in June, which is next month. Ah! Okay. Also got two of these because I thought they were super cute. Again, these are from the Dollar Twenty Five tree. Look at that. They call these cosmetic pouches. I call them notion pouches, y'all. All right. Okay. These. Oh, these were also from the Dollar Twenty Five tree. More washi tape, which may end up in giveaways as well. I cannot help myself. What was this? Oh, got a paper pack. I may have shown this one. I don't know. Um, but yeah, a whole bunch of just like random papers for those of us who do not have a paper collection who like to play with paper. And because I'm a sucker for notebooks, this one, very colorful and cute, Spiral. And these two, which are not Spiral, one says, Hello, Sunshine. And inside of it is lined paper and on each page on the left it says hello sunshine and on the bottom right it's got a little flower I just think that that is super cute this one says there's no words on the outside in case sort of tie-dye ish looking and they've got flamingos and it says like believe and there's just in very light print behind your lined paper let me open it up to sort of a middle page there I don't even know if that'll show up properly on the camera. Little stars. There's your little flamingo. And it's just kind of in the background. You can write over it with whatever you like. You can either journal on it or you can just write notes on it. Whatever. We'll probably end up in a giveaway because I have notebooks almost literally coming out of my ears. See? Yeah. Okay. Back up there. I did go to Walmart. Um, there's a little bit of, just a couple three things from Walmart 
totally unrelated, but Jiffy Strips to start more seeds in because I'm kind of hooked on that too. Girl, how many hobbies do I need, y'all? Yeah, apparently this one. Okay. I did buy this sketch diary and it's got, um, create and insert your own cover. It's got like a little vinyl top here where you can put your own thing in there and protect it. And then it's blank sketch pages throughout. It's the thicker paper. Um, haven't decided if I'm going to play with this because like I need more paper and notebooks or if it's going to be part of a giveaway. What do you think I should do with it? All right, put that over there. Uh, I got stuff everywhere. Oh my gosh. Oh, went to five below again. And I actually went back for this item. I had already purchased this before and I never showed you because I gave it to the hubby. Um, those of us that are getting older, you have to do things to keep your brain stimulated and try new things with your head, even if you're kind of stuck in the house most of the time. So the hubby is very, very intelligent and also deals with depression like I do. Um, for me, yarn and the yarn community and just the YouTube community in general has really kept me upbeat and stimulated, but he needed a little more push because he doesn't really have that. So I did this. I said, do some puzzles. It's a two for book. One book is right brain puzzles. One book is left brain puzzles. It's a two for, okay. The reason I went back and purchased this again is because I wanted to do it too. So hubby and I are going to sit there and we'll each do a puzzle and maybe talk about it afterwards because, you know, that's kind of what we do. But also, my friends Sean and Sue, you may have seen Sean in some videos when he's over here trying foods and stuff with us. Yeah, um, they each got a copy as well because they were shopping with us at the time. And so we're all going to work on this because we're all of that age where you got to kind of keep the, the synapses firing and kind of dust off some of the places you don't like playing and like math. I'm just saying it's good for the brain. So we did that. We did a thing. And while I was there, because even though I'm getting old, I still like sour candy. Atomic tiny particles of pure sour. That just sounds like so much fun to be. Oops. And jostling around has opened up a little bit in the back because this bounced around my car and everything else. So you know, let's see how sour they are. Hashtag toxic waste candy is what it says on the side. It's kind of chewy. It's not a hard candy like I was hoping for. I wasn't expecting it to be chewy. Eh. Not super sour. Not at all. And I think that's a shame. I think if you put a whole mouthful in instead of just one, that would be sour. Now I've got it stuck to my tooth. Awesome. But... I'll be the one who eats these. Nobody in the house likes sour but me. Go figure. Also, in the mail, my Sips by subscription came in. So you know, more teas. This is my May box because we're into May now. Y'all, what happened? And also in the mail, from Jimmy Pickles. I don't know what I can show you on that side. He doesn't really put anything on the outside of the package. But... From jppepperseeds.com, I ordered several seeds and I ordered a bunch to give away as well. And he was throwing in extras at the end of the month, like tons of extras. So I have a bunch that are marked free and I have some that aren't marked anything. So, and look at this one. That's an unusual looking seed. The seeds on this are black and that is correct. Um, inside the pepper itself, when the pepper is good and fresh, the seeds on this one are black and apparently take a while to, to, to germinate. And this is a pepper powder that I absolutely love. So I've decided I'm gonna have to grow them or try to grow them and make my own powder out of them. And maybe even eat just the peppers because they're, they're not hot. They got a little warmth to them, but they're not hot. Manzano orange pepper. But some of these seeds will be given away for folks who like garden stuff during my birthday week. I'm telling you, there's going to be a lot of giveaways. I just thought it would be fun because I hadn't done that. I've seen other people doing it. I'm like, okay, I'll copy because that's tons of fun. Okay. Yesterday, if you're watching this on Sunday, 
if you're not watching it on Sunday, it was this past Saturday or whatever, you know, it was on a Saturday. There was an inaugural Italian festival in downtown Fountain Inn, South Carolina. Fountain Inn's a small town. It's sort of like a suburb of, you know, like the outer versions of Greenville, South Carolina, which Greenville's not that big anyway, but it's what we have around here, okay? They had their first ever Italian festival because it's a big Italian club there. And they decided, yeah, let's do a festival. I don't think they knew just how popular it was going to be. It was packed. There were so many people, but what a good problem to have, right? Unfortunately, they had seven or eight vendors like not show up and they were food vendors. They had a bunch of food there, but some people were, I don't know what I just dropped. Some people were um, running out of food, but they did have plenty of beer and wine vendors. Yes, you could get a wristband. I didn't do that. Um, so the four of us, me and the hubby and our friend Sean and Sue, um, went to the Italian festival and here we were the old person brigade because two of us had the walkers with the rollers on them and we were all in old funky sneakers. Oh yes, we have become those people. I had on a tank top much like today, but I had sunscreen and I did not burn. Yes, because it was outside and it was sunshine. We kept finding shady spots to hang out, you know, but um, I love to go to festivals like this. We didn't get to eat there because the lines for the food were so long. We just decided to go elsewhere and that's fine. But we were there to help just with support. It's like, yes. And the people who organized it, the people in the Italian club were, you know, they came on, they asked us because we were talking to people, you know, um, what do you think? And blah, 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 blah. And we're like, yes, do it again. Absolutely do it again. Do it next year. We will be back. It was so much fun and we talked to people and just I got to see people who reminded me of people in my own family in a good way not the bad way you know, the good way and it was just wonderful um, and smelling the Italian food in the air plus like the regular festival type food in the air that was there too so that was cool and speaking of regular festival type food I tried to buy something I can't go buy from all the vendors obviously I ain't rich okay and I don't have a truck. Oh, and one vendor that was there that I didn't buy anything from, but I thought it was the coolest thing ever. There was this little tiny camper. Oh my gosh, it was a camper so small, you could probably pull it with a smart car. Yeah, I think you can actually pull it with motorcycles. It's a little tiny, but it looks like a big camper, just shrunk down. And it was beer taps. They were doing, there was a refrigerated deal, and at the one end they had like a TV where you could show like whatever. And they, they were selling beer out of the thing. And I thought that was so stinking brilliant. And it had a cute name and it was, it was great. It was great. But I always managed to buy something at a little festival because I love to support local vendors, local people. And these are folks who are from a town like basically right up the road from Fountain Inn. And they make their own barbecue sauce. Oh, yes. And they were giving out samples, y'all. You know, where they take the little tiny spoon and they give you a little bit. Oh my God. Okay. And yes, I bought all the, all the flavors because of course I did. Okay. Young's Backyard Barbecue. Get lost in the sauce. This one is Spicy Gold. It's a mustard based sauce, which is, it's sweet on the front. And then all of a sudden it's like, oh my. You get just a touch of heat. It's The pepper heads aren't going to be like, that's hot. No, because it isn't. I want to open this and just stick my finger in and lick my finger, okay? It's stinking delicious. Bought that. And I bought their Sweet Heat. Yeah, sweet Heat. Get lost in the sauce. Young's Backyard Barbecue. And they got the big label with all the ingredients and everything on the back. Um, oh. Y'all, this here is like magical, okay? Mm. I just wanted to be like, another sample, please? Another sample, please? But they had a line too, and I was like, okay, just give me one of each. But there's a third one. This is the one that the hubby will love because he can't do any kind of spice at all, and mustard gives him blisters, so we don't do mustard. Um, this is called Sweet Maple. Sweet maple. Oh, oh my god. 
This is what barbecue sauce should be as far as this flavor and all the, the, the ingredients. It's stuff you can read, okay? It's actual stinking ingredients. The first ingredient is pure maple syrup. So you know this is good. Yeah, I'm like, give me one of each, the big jars, the big jars. <laughs> and they busted out the card and of course, <laughs> everybody was having problems with uh, cell phone connectivity because there were so many people in this one little area that doesn't get that many people. Um, and everybody's cell phone was pinging all the towers, but we did it, we, we got through it, it was awesome. So yeah, bought that, love festivals. I have a dilemma this coming week there are like three different festivals I want to go to and I'm like oh my gosh uh, what am I gonna do I cannot clone myself and experience all the things so yeah I'll be thinking more about that as the week goes on the final thing that I did pick up at Walmart this week I was surprised I always walk down the yarn aisle looking for a few specific things, just in case, just in case there's something new or something on sale. I've always got my phone out scanning tags just to see if something is marked out and doesn't show it. Always do that. When you go to Walmart, get the Walmart app and you can like click a little barcode looking thing near the search thing and it'll bring up like a price check doohickey and you can scan that sucker. It'll not only tell you um, the price, make sure you're on the store that you're in. It'll also tell you what aisle it's on. That is so helpful. I mean, it's not helpful if you're already at the aisle, but you know, if you're at home and you want to know where something is before you go to the store, do that. I always look for the mainstays sparkle acrylic yarn because they have only had the one color that I picked up several weeks ago since I've been looking for it. They've got the shelf tags for everything, but they're always out. But this time they had this one look at that pretty oh this is a silver with a silver sparkle and they're calling it platinum silver and let me tell you something the mainstay sparkle is softer than the red heart version yeah it's not bad to work with it is pretty soft kind of scarfable as as you know crystal back in day crystal would say it's nice um it's cheap way less than three dollars a skein and the skeins by the way as i'm shaking them around they are uh just about 142 grams 230 meters per ball it's a medium four weight this says you a 5.5 millimeter needle it's 98 percent acrylic two percent metallic because you know metallic uh machine wash tumble dry do not dry clean i would like gentle wash it to keep from pilling because it's not anti-pilling and um dry flat or something or maybe toss it in a cold dryer just to help it out but yeah but I not only got the platinum they finally finally had the sweet violet and no your eyes are not deceiving you the sparkles in that are kind of a teal color oh my god I think it's so pretty you can even see the sparkle out here oh my gosh this is so pretty. And not only that, I bought it and brought it home. And then Crystal Bagaday puts out a, um, a tutorial for something made with this very color. She's got a bucket hat that's really cute. I don't know if I would rock a light purple bucket hat with other colors that I wear because I a lot of time to wear stuff like this, you know, more neutral colors. I actually don't own a lot of purple to wear as much as purple is my favorite color. This is beautiful. Oh my gosh. It's so pretty. I wonder if I could get the bucket hat made before next week's festivals. Because yesterday I wore a bucket hat. It's my Bucket of Buns bucket hat. If you look at the video from um, the vloggy, vloggy number 61, I think it is, yesterday, I was wearing that hat when I made the video with my pigtails coming out. It was kind of cute. The hubby thinks it's cute, so I'll continue to wear it. But, oh, yes! I was so shocked that they finally had it. I was thrilled. Yeah, I'm trying to limit my yarn buying though because right now I have more yarn than I have space for it. So it's like use my stash. And I don't get to crochet enough to use my stash enough. I need to be independently wealthy and be able to just crochet when I want, like most of the day. Don't we all? Wouldn't that be cool? Anyhow, thank you for coming along with me on this very long haul for like little mini haul stuff. 
What was your favorite item? And yes, we know the yarn. Hello, the yarn. The sparkle yarn is so pretty. I'm still eyeballing that barbecue sauce, and I'm hungry. So something may come up later today where something gets eaten with some barbecue sauce. I'm just saying. <laughs> Thank you for coming by. I appreciate you for paying attention to my crazy nonsense. If you're new here, welcome. I should have welcomed you at the beginning, but, you know, I don't always do things in order. And um, I hope you come back. <laughs> hope I didn't scare you off with my craziness. But for those of you who've been here before who keep coming back, y'all are my kind of crazy. So, ta-da, here we are. <laughs> See you very, very soon. Bye, y'all.